Hello everyone, Roland Robles here with MLC CAD Systems. Today we're going to look at the added functionality inside our Mate controller for SOLIDWORKS 2017. In SOLIDWORKS 2016 we added this brand new tool called Mate Controller and what this gave you the ability to do was to illustrate multiple, position, multiple positions of complex assemblies that had many mates that we could essentially tweak or change to illustrate these different positions. In this case, mate control is pretty simple to use where we add all of our mates that we want to, to be able to modify and then it gives us the ability to create these positions. What we've added inside SOLIDWORKS 2017 is the ability to take these positions and actually save them out in a configuration so we can use them with some downstream processes. In this case, it's very simple to do. All I choose is the mate position from my mate controller and choose add configuration. What's happening in the background is it's taking the position of this and it's actually saving all of my modifications to the mates that I'm tweaking and it's creating a, a isolated standalone configuration. In this example, once we're done, we simply confirm our feature and if we go to our configuration manager, we'll see those three that I've saved have actually been created as a new configuration. The neat thing about that is then I can leverage them in things like drawings. So for example, if I go ahead and open up this drawing, you'll see that by simply clicking any one of these views, I can now specify the configuration from that Make controller. In this example, this will give my operator a nice clear set of instructions on how this assembly is going to be positioned from one view to the next view. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to catch you on the next one.